Uh, does anybody still do that? Make resolutions? Yeah. I stopped doing that a long time ago. Yeah. Amen. Because I never would keep the resolutions. Amen. But even if we make resolutions, we still have to go by the word of God. Amen. And he said in all of our ways, we are to acknowledge him. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. We cannot direct our paths and plan our own course. See, it's the responsibility of the commander in the military to know where the soldiers are going to live. It's the commander's responsibility to know what they're going to eat. My husband was a Marine. He didn't have to worry about where we're going to stay or what we're going to eat. That was the commander's responsibility. And if Jesus Christ is your commander, that's his responsibility. As you line yourself up with the word of God. Let me read that definition again. Priority means giving precedence to one task, one goal, or one focus. Throw your list away with 10 or 15 priorities on it. <laughs> you can only have one at a time. And God said, I'm supposed to be your priority. Hallelujah. As we go into 2024, we've got to be word doers, not church goers. There's a difference in a word doer and a church goer. Hallelujah. You can't accept Christ and, and take all the benefits and, and don't have to do nothing. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And the way he's got his body in the earth is through church. Yes. Amen. 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 And you might think you're all right, but you're not all right. Mm -hmm. He's crying. He's crying because you you just don't know his, his way. You don't know his word. You don't give him time. When you believe, remember when you were a baby Christian, when you first gave your heart to the Lord? That's the way we're supposed to be all the time. I'm for it. Amen. And that's what the Lord's looking for. Are you husband bound? And you have to be heaven down here in the air. You don't just die and, and go to heaven. You got to be heaven down here. Jesus Christ teaches us you must be born again. That's what born again is, being heaven bound. Because a praying church is a powerful church. We have to, we have to be in the prayer mode. And Fasting will catapult us into the prayer mode. Yes, yeah, yeah. Bow your hand with me, please. Holy and glorious Father, we humbly come to you. We give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor for this past year. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you for your presence in the house every single time we come together. Yes, yes. You're true to your word. Your word teaches us wherever two or more are gathered, you're in the midst. Yes, God. And we can sense you. Yes, we yes. we need to pray to glory yes. all the answers. Yes, Father. Please, Holy Spirit, open up our hearts, open yes. up our ears, so that we can hear what thus saith the Lord in Jesus' glorious name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. We've been saying Happy New Year all day. Amen. <laughs> and when it comes in tonight at midnight, I probably won't see it coming in because my eyes will be closed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And some of us may have made resolutions for the new year. Uh, does anybody still do that? Make resolutions? Yeah. I stopped doing that a long time ago. Yeah. Amen. Because I never would keep the resolutions. Amen. But Amen. even if we make resolutions, we still have to go by the word of God. Amen. And he said in all of our ways, we are to acknowledge him. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. We cannot direct our paths and plan our own course. God has to do that. Amen. Amen.
Hallelujah. Glory to God. How many of you realize that when you gave your heart to Jesus, you signed up to be in the Lord's army? Amen. Yes. Amen. I never thought about it when I gave my heart to Christ that I was going to be in the Lord's army. Amen. 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 But we are in an army that belongs to God. Amen. Amen. Now there are multiple scriptures in the word of God that refer to heaven's armies. I don't know if you run across scriptures in the Old Testament, but it talks about heaven's armies. And when it describes the angels in heaven's army, it describes them in military terms. Amen? Look at Genesis 32 and verse 1, such as an encampment. Amen? Genesis 32 and verse 1. And it says, as Jacob started on his way again, angels of God came to meet him. When Jacob saw them, he exclaimed, this is God's camp. So he named the place Mahanaim. Here on earth, that word encampment means a temporary base for military operations. Amen. I believe any veteran in here could tell us that that's what an encampment is. Amen. Just temporary for where they're going to operate or where the soldiers are going to live. Look at the book of Psalms, Psalm 91 and verse 11. Psalm 91 and verse 11. For he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. Yeah. Now doesn't that yeah. sound like what soldiers do? Yeah. Soldiers are supposed to protect us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Verse 12. They will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Yeah, yeah. Now, in these scriptures, they're talking about heaven's armies. But just as I said, there's a, he a heavenly army, there's one here in the earth. Yeah. And if we belong to Christ, we're in that army. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Look at Job. Job 19, verse 11. His fury burns against me, he counts me as an enemy. Verse 12. His troops advance. They build up roads to attack me. They camp all around my tent. Now all of these scriptures give you the image of military. Amen. They're talking about encampment. They're talking about troops. They're talking about enemies. Amen. So the role of a soldier is highly respected in scriptures. The name of our message is, You're a Soldier Now. Thank you, Father God. You're a soldier now. And we've got to realize that we're soldiers. Amen? Amen. Now, Paul often used a lot of word pictures to paint the life of a Christian. When he talked to Timothy, he was always reminding Timothy about suffering. How many of you know that as believers, we are going to suffer in this life? Yeah. <laughs> I had a discussion with a Christian one day and she said, no, we're not. And I'm, I know you haven't read your Bible if you don't think Christians are going to suffer. Amen. Hallelujah. When Paul mentored Timothy, he expected Timothy to be willing to suffer for his faith. Every one of us as a believer has to be willing to suffer for our faith. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. In other words, your expectation as a believer is to realize you're going to have some hardships. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You're in the army now. You're in the Lord's army. Yeah. Everything's not going to go well with us. Oh, Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. We said last week that being a Christian is not easy. No. Some theologians are ministers, let me, let me not use theologians, but pastors and ministers and evangelists, prophets would make you think this is an easy walk. No, it's not easy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When somebody just insulted you or disrespected you and you're still supposed to remain humble, it's not easy. Glory to God. Glory to God. 
when we're supposed to be patient and we, we've lost patience dealing with people, it's not easy. But God knows our weaknesses. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Glory to God. We're soldiers now. Now, anytime there's a Christian man or woman in the military, as long as they're serving with character and dignity and honor, you can rest assured that God is pleased with you. There have been some men and women who felt like maybe God doesn't want me to do that. No, being a soldier is an honorable role. Yeah, amen. amen. Glory to God. Amen. Go with me to the book of 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy 2 and verse 3. It says, so therefore, endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Amen. amen. There is a connection between being a soldier and and a disciple of Jesus Christ. See, soldiers are expected to obey their commander. And as disciples, we're expected to obey Jesus Christ. Amen. Soldiers are expected to be committed in the military. We're expected to be committed to Christ. You know, we said our theme for going into 2024 was we're going, we're going deeper with God. We need to go deeper with God. Yes. Amen. That's right. It's not church as usual. Sure where we can do our own thing and do what we want to do. Come on now. Yes. Yes. We're closer to the eternity than we've ever been. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. In the United States military, soldiers are trained to follow the orders of the commander. We've got all sorts of commandments in the word of God that we're expected to follow. His word says, forsake not the assembly. As we see the day approaching. There's so many in the body of Christ. What day is approaching? They don't even understand that we're getting closer to the eternity. The word of God says that we're to encourage one another. Don't forsake meeting with the brothers and sisters. But we do it anyway. We do it anyway because we don't study our word. We don't know that the day is approaching. And then if we saw that in the scripture, what day are they talking about? Oh. Hallelujah. We've got to encourage one another. Amen. Amen. We're not supposed to worry about where we're going to live or what we're going to eat. Amen. God said, I'll take care of all of that. Yes. If you seek me first. Yes. But that's part of the problem. We don't want to seek him. But we want all He's not going to go against his word. Hallelujah. See, it's the responsibility of the commander in the military to know where the soldiers are going to live. It's the commander's responsibility to know what they're going to eat. My husband was a Marine. He didn't have to worry about where we're going to stay or what we're going to eat. That was the commander's responsibility. And if Jesus Christ is your commander, that's his responsibility. As you line yourself up with the word of God. Hallelujah. Jesus told us in the book of Matthew, don't be anxious about your life. Don't be worried about what you're going to eat, what you're going to wear. The commander's got it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you put your trust in him, the commander has everything that you need. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Our top priority as believers is to follow Jesus Christ. Let me just say this. You can only have one priority. So many people think I can make a list of priorities. Let me have that definition on priority. Priority means giving precedence to one task, one goal, or one focus. And our priority as 
disciples is to follow Jesus Christ. Amen. We put everything else in the way except following him because we want to straddle the fence. Let me read that definition again. Priority means giving precedence to one task, one goal, or one focus. Throw your list away with 10 or 15 priorities on it. <laughs> you can only have one at a time. And God said, I'm supposed to be your priority. Hallelujah. Our priority is to pursue God's kingdom and his righteousness. And he will take care of our needs one day at a time. One day at a time. Now, most of the people who heard Jesus preach on the Sermon on the, uh, on the Mount, most of these people were poor people. And Jesus talked to them about their daily bread. They were so poor, they were going from day to day just hoping that they could get their meal in. They were not obsessed with materialism like it is here in the earth now. They were concerned with what am I going to eat today? And then tomorrow's coming up. What am I going to eat tomorrow? Glory to God. Shouldn't that be our focus now? Shouldn't he be the focus now? If we trust him? Glory to God. Glory to God. We're in the army now. The army of the Lord. Glory to God. Jesus wanted them to know that it's more than just eating and drinking. Life is more than that. And where we're going to stay. We've got an eternal purpose. This time down here is temporary. What we don't realize is that all of this is going to pass away. We're trying to hold on to it and we're not going to be able to hold on to it. It's temporary. And then we make all kinds of excuses for not putting him first. I can't serve. I'm too busy. I can't give. Everything should be done according to your several abilities. Everything. Your time. Your service. What you give. But you put everything before him. Glory to God. We're soldiers in God's army. Yes. Hallelujah. That's because we're anxious about our life down here. Oh, I can't work in the ministry. I got too much to do. I got to do it. God gives you the breath that you breathe every day. But you don't have any time to serve him. You don't have any time to give him. I'm too busy. I've got other things to do. And God said, you already let me know I'm not your priority. But then you come to me and you want me to bless you when my word says that I'm supposed to be your number one priority. Hallelujah. As we go into 2024, we've got to be word doers, yeah. not church goers. Yeah. There's a difference in a word doer and a church goer. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah. Yeah. 2 Timothy 2 and 4. No soldier in active service entangles himself in the affairs of everyday life. But look at the reason why. So that he may please the one who enlisted him as a soldier. Paul encouraged Timothy, you be disciplined, Timothy. And brothers and sisters, I'm encouraging you to do the same thing. Be disciplined. Prepare yourself to get ready to go home. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When we're facing difficulties, face them the way a soldier in the United States military does. Yes. Okay. He looks to the commander. Yes. Look to the commander. Okay. 
Glory to God. I was on social media recently and I saw a reel where it was a military reel and the soldier, if this was real, told the drill sergeant, I quit. <laughs> and she said, you what? He walked off. She said, where is he going? He said, I quit. And he just walked off. And she told the other drill sergeant, will you look at this guy? Of course, she had some dirty words to say. He said, call the military police on him. See, there are consequences when you're supposed to be a soldier in God's army and you just quit. Yes, yes. You don't quit. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're going through a hard time. Endure hardness as a good soldier. I don't pull back and quit. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's why he said you examine yourself to see whether you're in the faith. And I say it all the time. I'm not supposed to examine my husband. I'm not supposed to examine my brothers and sisters. I'm supposed to examine myself to see whether I'm in the faith. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We always remind you when we get ready at the close of the year that we're going deeper with God. I don't care if we go with a few people. We're going deeper with God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going deeper with God. Yeah. Everybody's not going to want to go. I'm going to tell you that now. That's true. That's true. Everybody's not going to want to do it. Uh -huh. The prophet Isaiah, when he recognized that he had a divine call on his life, he said, here am I, Lord. Yeah. Send me. Yeah. We need to be asking the Lord, Lord, what should I do? What can I do? And you know we always say, nobody sits on the pew at spiritual harvest. There's something to be done in this ministry. Hallelujah. And if you are sitting back, it's only because you want it to. The word of God says, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Fear because you reverence him. You know what he says in his word. See, we know too much as believers now. The devil can't fool us anymore. Those times when we grew up in church and all we did was sit on the pew and do nothing. The devil can't fool us anymore. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, we're in the army now. Hallelujah. That's why we exhort one another. The exhorters exhort us every Sunday morning. That's why we pray one for another. That's why we rebuke one another. How many of you know a lot of people don't want to be rebuked? A lot of people don't want you to tell them what they're doing wrong. You should want to be rebuked. So you can get it right. So you can grow. But we get mad when somebody rebukes us. How dare you tell me I'm doing wrong? Now I'm not saying tell them they're doing wrong and then go tell everybody else. Go to your brother or to your sister and tell them, brother, you need to do better. God wants you to do this. Sister, God wants you to do this. And then your position should be one of humility. Yes. Thank you, brother, for telling me that. Yes, yes I, I slipped by the wayside, but I'm going to get back on track. Yes. We want to go to heaven, right? Yes. 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 And I'm not saying that we lose our salvation when we step out of line, yes. but we lose some rewards that he has for us. Yes. And he chastens those that he loves. Yes. Glory to God. I'm almost done. Glory to God. We want people restored back to fellowship. We don't want to criticize anybody. We don't want to talk about anybody. That's why when we get in 2024, we're doing things a, a, a three, how many? 365 degree turn? Oh, 360. 
okay. It's gonna turn, whichever number it is. <laughs> we can't keep doing things the same way we've done it. Not if we want to grow in Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Every Christian is called to be a soldier in the army of God. My last scripture, Ephesians 6 and 13. Therefore, take up the full armor of God so that you will be able to resist in the evil day. And having done everything, to stand firm. Yes, yes. You see what it says to resist in the evil day. Mm -hmm. We've been so busy re rebuking the devil, rebuking the devil. There's no place in scripture where it tells us to rebuke the devil. <laughs> it tells us to resist yes. the devil. Yes. And he will flee from us. All right. But we grew up here and everybody else rebuked the devil. Uh -huh. And we just said what we heard. Uh -huh. yeah. Hallelujah. We need to start quoting the scripture and quoting it the way it says it in the Bible. And none of us know it all. We're just learning. Bob and I learn things all the time and look at what this says. Look at what this says. Because we've been going on years and years of what we heard and, and we were not studying God's word. Amen, Pastor. We want to grow deeper in God. Amen? Yes, amen. Our lives are not our own. We don't belong to ourselves. Amen. We're in the army now. Yes. We're in the Lord's army. And if we're not obedient, and if we're not committed to him, and if we're distracted by everything except God's word, we want everything else but we don't want to embrace God's word. All right. There will be some consequences. Yes, I can't say that harshly, but I can say it with all seriousness. There will be some consequences for us if we're disobedient and if we're not committed. Brothers and sisters, examine yourselves. Because if you fail the examination, you have no one to blame except yourself. God bless you.
So when we accept Christ, we have to understand, when we accept Christ, we agree to follow him. Amen. You can't accept Christ and, and take all the benefits and, and don't have to do nothing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And the way he's got his body in the earth is through church. Yes. Amen. Amen. And church needs funds to operate. That's true. That's right. Amen. Amen. And if he puts fear in your heart about don't give too much, uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> the church suffers. Yes, yes. yes. Good teaching, Amen. Pastor Bob. Good teaching. And that's what Satan does with all of us. Uh -huh. yeah. he, he uses the same tact on all of uh -huh. us. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. So now we have we have to be accountable mm -hmm. to God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Accountable means being responsible. Mm -hmm. We're responsible for certain things. That's right. You know, like my wife was saying, he's the commander. Amen. Now you can imagine if you were in a war and, and uh, there's a machine gun wiping out your platoon and your sergeant tells you to go and take that take that machine gun out. Mm -hmm. And you say, I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> what? You know you gotta just let your platoon get wiped out. Can we see that? And that's the same thing in the spirit. Okay. The Lord tells us to do difficult things, and we say, oh, I ain't going to do that. Hmm. That's the devil. I rebuke you, yeah. devil. <laughs> huh? The Lord will tell you, give, give a couple thousand dollars this week. Oh, I ain't waving on my account. I rebuke you, devil. Hmm. There you go. The same scenario, <laughs> only thing in the spirit. Yeah. Amen. Okay. So we, we, we're accountable. Deeply accountable. Mm -hmm. And we have to listen to the Lord. And a lot of times we get afraid to listen to the Lord. Yes. We're afraid he's going to tell us something, to mm -hmm. do something hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been there. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're afraid he's going to tell you something that you don't want to hear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. So he teaches us to love each other as, as he has loved us. Yes. Amen. 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 We worked on that this past year, loving each other. Yes. Amen. Amen. I can only speak the words. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then faith comes, because faith comes by hearing, and by hearing the word of God, Amen. I'm speaking the words. It's up to you to let the faith come. Amen. Don't be afraid to let the faith come. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. So we're being responsible. We're in active duty. We're not reservists. That's right. Amen. We're in active duty. <laughs> right? You're in the Lord's army, mm -hmm. period. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. In the military, if, if you do something without permission, mm -hmm. like you want to go home for a weekend, <laughs> and they say, no, you can't. you got to stay in guard duty this weekend. And you go anyway. You're A-W-O-L. Well, that's right. Right. Without yeah. leave. That's right. You didn't, you didn't get the permission to go home. Yeah. And then military police be knocking at your door, yep. put you in handcuffs in front of your family, mm -hmm. and haul you back mm -hmm. to the base. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing in the Lord's army. Mm -hmm. Half of us are AWOL. <laughs> 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 We just, we just 
show up in church. <laughs> Amen. We're there, but we're not there. <laughs> we're looking at our phone. We're checking our email. Right, huh? You know I'm right about it. Yeah, right. We're here, but we're not here. All right. We're not giving the Lord full concentration. Yes. Come on now. Amen. That's true. That's true. That is. And you know the Lord is sovereign. You mm see. -hmm. Amen. He's long suffering. Yes. And you might think you're all right, but you're not all right. He's crying. He's crying because you you just don't know his, his ways. You don't know his word. You don't give him time. Amen. Glory to God. You know, John uh, chapter 6, they ask him in verse 28, they say, Then said they unto him, what shall we do that we might work the works of God? And Jesus answered. And they don't want to hear this. Because these are the same people that are planning to kill him. Amen. And then Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, that you believe on him whom he has sent. Amen? That's the work of God. First get that right. Because if you believe something, believe is an action word. I'm going to see some action. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. It's an action word. When you believe, remember when you were a baby Christian, when you first gave your heart to the Lord? That's the way we're supposed to be all the time. I'm fired. Amen. And that's what the Lord's looking for. There's another scripture in Luke 6, 46. He said, why do you call me Lord? And don't do what I say. Do it. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Luke six forty six. And why call me Lord, Lord? Amen. And do not the things which I say. That's a question. Amen. <coughs> That's just, that's just like the question when you walk up to a stranger and, and you want to witness to them, you ask, you ask them, you don't ask them if they're saved, you ask them if you died right now, would you go to heaven or would you go to hell? Mm -hmm. That's why you ask them. And that knocks the wind out of their sails because they never expected nothing like that. Amen. And then they got to think. Is my religion enough to get me into heaven? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. They're going to have to think. Mm -hmm. That's right. And then they come up with all kinds of excuses. Well, my, my brother's a deacon. <laughs> my uncle's a pastor. Amen. Yeah, well, what about you? Mm -hmm. Are you husband bound? <laughs> and you have to be heaven bound here in the air. You don't just die and, and go to heaven. you got to be heaven bound here. Jesus Christ teaches us you must be born again. That's what born again is, being heaven bound. Amen. In John 3, 3. He says you can't see the kingdom of God unless you're born again. Amen. We're supposed to be seeing the kingdom of God here. We're supposed to be talking to angels. We're supposed to be talking to the Lord. He said, my sheep know my voice. If you don't know the Lord's voice, you're in trouble. Amen. You're not a sheep. You might be a goat. 
Okay. You got to before before you transition, you got to make sure that you're a sheep. Amen. Amen. It isn't a religion. You can't just join a club and you're going to heaven. That ain't the way it works. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. So he's teaching us that we're in the army. His army. Mm -hmm. He's got heaven's army that's all angels and then he's got us. His army. We got armor. We got everything. Yes. He provides us with everything. Amen. Amen. But we have to be obedient. That's the only way the, the word of God works. We have to be obedient. And then we can move into spiritual things. If I'm not obedient, if I say, well, yeah, I'll do this, 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 and this, but not that, I ain't no, I ain't doing that. You just blocked your blessing. Yes. Can we understand this? It's yes. very important that we have to, we're going to, all this year coming up, we're going to be teaching, magnifying teaching. All right. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. On what we've been teaching, but we've got to put it in action. Yes. Amen. We got brother or sister that needs help. We're going to go and help them. Whatever yes. we can do, or get somebody that can help them. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because He told us that the commandment, it's our commandment. He does His Father's commandment, and His Father loves Him. That's what the Word of God says. Yes. And we do His commandment, love each other as yes. He has loved us. It's the only commandment we got. He did the ten. He fulfilled that. Amen. That's right. He fulfilled that ten. Yes. The only we got one commandment. Love each other. Period. Yes. Love your neighbor, love your enemies, love everybody. Yes. Yes. Pray for them that despitefully use you. Mm -hmm. Bless them that curse you. Yes. It's all about love. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the only enemy we got is the devil. Yes. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. And we have to resist. Yes. We resist him. Yes. How do we uh, how do we overcome the devil? By the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Amen. What's the word of your testimony? You got a story to tell somebody? What the Lord did for you? Yeah. Amen. I got volumes of it. I can stand up here for weeks and tell you story. In Vietnam. The Lord was there. Yes. Amen. And he showed me he was there. And I didn't even know the man. I wasn't a Christian. I had a religion. Yes. Amen. But he was wooing me, getting me to come to him. Amen. So I want to encourage everybody. A praying church is a powerful church. Yes. We, have to, we have to be in the prayer room. And fasting will catapult us into the prayer room. Holy Father, we humbly come to you and we thank you for your work. We thank you that we have guidelines. That we know that you breathe this word out of your mouth. Yes, Father. And you made it so that it's not impossible for us to do because we have the help of the Holy Spirit. And we give you the praise and glory and all that. Because we can do it. Everything that's in this word, we can do it. And we glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We're in the army now. Amen. Hallelujah. God Almighty, Lord of glory, oh, we 
worship you. Yes, we do. God Almighty, Lord of glory, oh, we worship you. Oh, Trust them 
with everything today. Hallelujah. He's the only one. person at a time.